Prince Guest believes everyone deserves a second chance, which is why he's worked to remove barriers for those seeking employment. Here to help community members gain a better quality of life through the second chance job fair is Councilman Dwight Boykins with District D. Hello there. Good morning, Deborah. Okay, so the second chance job fair. Uh, we certainly know we have a lot of work to do in our yeah. criminal justice system, and we want to, you know, say that we do have a rehabilitative system, right? Yeah. But then when a lot of folks get out, it's like, now what, right? Yeah, so and that's been a problem. In 2013, I ran for city council, and uh, when I was asking folk for votes, uh, as we would say, they were, there were a lot of people said, you know, I just want a job. Mm -hmm. And I made a mistake when I was young, and no one wanted to give me an opportunity. I said, young man, if you give an opportunity to be your council member, I promise you, I will commit to making certain that the barriers are knocked down, work with companies and try to make something work. And we, this is our fourth year, and I want to first thank you all. You've been supportive every year, Deborah, and I appreciate uh, Channel 11. So we have um, had a convention at, a, I mean, a job fair at Georgia Brown for the last four years. Mm -hmm. Four or 5,000 individuals show up. We have about 80 companies this year. And as an added bonus, for those who cannot get hired, uh, we have uh, received four trucks donated. I load them up with lawn equipment and on the back of Hurricane Harvey, uh, carpentry equipment and raffle them off, well, donate them, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. Uh, to give people an opportunity to create their own business. Wow. Yeah, All right, yeah because when you fill out that job application, oftentimes they'll say, have you ever been convicted? A, right? And that's unfair. Yeah. That's unfair. And I wish the state of Texas, um, the federal government, anyone that's using taxpayers' money would ban the box because mm -hmm. it's not fair for those who pay taxes and can't even apply for a job because they made a mistake. Now, let me be clear. Yeah, there this is nonviolent. We're talking non about nonviolent, yeah. Including nonviolent ex-felons. Yeah. But let me tell you who else look for a second chance. There are mothers that come up to me that have had children, mm -hmm. and they take a, re uh, take a break for about four or five years, and so there's a resume gap. They can't find jobs, yeah. and it's not fair. So the second chance program is not only for non-violent ex-felons, it's for people who look for a better opportunity. Yeah, because we say pull yourself up by your bootstraps, it's like, can you please just make sure I have some boots first, right? Have some, or I have right. some straps to pull up first. I like that, that's right. All right, so I'm gonna let you use that one for free. Okay, <laughs> um, so you have lots of notable participants as well. The people are not just showing up just to show up. They're showing up to actually see if they can hire some folks because they need good employees. And that's exactly right. And I can't thank the University of Houston enough. Uh, text I came out last year and participated of course, the city of Houston. Uh, I met a young man who uh, received a job at the University of Houston, and uh, I ran into him about a year ago, and he came up to me and said, Council Member, you don't know me, but I received a job, uh, I have benefits, and now I'm taking care of my family. And yeah. I said, that's what it's about. So Houston Community College, as you mentioned, the yeah. city of Houston Fire Department is recruiting, Texas Department, Southern University, Walmart, TSU. Comcast. Yeah. So we're excited about it. We have, we're up to 80 vendors, and uh, we, we're looking for more. Uh, but more importantly, we just want, and I want to thank Metro for providing yeah. free transportation to and from the convention nice. center. And, and we're all in this together, Deborah. Yeah. So when someone shows up, what should they be prepared to do? What They show up with what? Should if they have? you have certifications, great question. Twit cards, uh, uh, certification to drive, uh, any specialty background, please bring it. Because their first Im uh, impression may just change the opportunity for them. And they may have, you know, opportunity to get hired on the spot. All right, Councilmember, thank you very much. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, the second chance job fair will be held on August 16th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Exhibit Hall B3. To register, visit secondchancejobfair.com. Thank you all very much for joining us, and have a great day. Great day.